Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, I got something from Grenner Power. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, the thing is, I want to start doing some projects with these batteries. So, and I just recently, I guess because of Black Friday coming up, had some companies reach out and I thought, great, we can try these different batteries, test them and see how they go. Prices are have dropped a lot in these LifePo batteries, uh, the lithium iron phosphate. So, in case you're not aware, the lithium iron, or lithium ion, the NMC, is what they are made from, nickel metal uh, cobalt. Um, did I say metal? <laughs> nickel manganese uh, cobalt, is that right? So, anyway, the cobalt makes them a little bit dangerous. If you just do a little search on fires caused by lithium ion batteries, you'll you'll see. Now the lithium iron phosphates, these guys, uh, even if you puncture them, which is really dangerous for the other type, these these guys are really safe. So um, I, I definitely recommend that today. Not I mean you shouldn't do NMC batteries in my humble opinion. If you're Put them in your home, anywhere like that. Um, a friend of a friend's garage burned up because of their lithium ion battery. So just take a search on your own and you'll, you'll see that to be true. There's fires around the country caused by that. Even the car manufacturers like Tesla are switching to LiFo batteries. So the thing was, is in the past, they're worried that, oh, you know, you take two cells and the lithium ion, you can get almost double the energy in the same size. But the thing is, is when you look at the bigger picture and you put a bunch of those cells together, which you need to do for these big batteries, uh, the actual assembly of them, you have to have some spacing because they don't like heat. And uh, so the actual packaging makes them not that much smaller than a lithium iron phosphate. These were expensive. That was probably the biggest reason that people didn't use them. <laughs> but anyway, pretty much all the power stations today, you're going to see all LifePo uh, 4 batteries. Okay, So uh, that's what these are. Uh, LFP, sometimes they're referred to. So some, I'll show a close-up of this literature. But I was really curious about this battery um, because I had, you know, well... So the other thing, pretty much all batteries are made in China, all lithium batteries, I mean, most batteries. And the Chinese have been doing a pretty fantastic job on the batteries. Um, so yeah, um, here, let me pull this out of here. All right, so one thing I can say is the packaging, the box is a double walled construction, very strong box, but I was kind of surprised how small the box was. I think it's because they use this dense foam um, and they, they put it around the sides and top and bottom. And uh, I suppose it's good enough because, you know, the, actually the box came with a little damage here, but it didn't even go through. Yeah, it didn't even go through the, in, whoops. It didn't even go through the inside of the box, even though it's a pretty gnarly uh, scar. That's because this double thick, walled uh, cardboard box. They're, they're really strong. All right, so I like the blue color. Um, and this is just a plastic bag I think I'm holding on to here. I don't think that's a handle. but So compared to lead acid, these are about one third the weight. Uh, 100 amp hour battery. So 12.8, 100 amp hour battery. Now the lithium batteries, just like lead acid, lead acid, a 12 volt will have uh, six cells because each cell is about two volts, right? So they'll have six cells and they just put them in parallel and they work that way. The lithium iron batteries, the lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, they have battery management systems. So there's a circuit card in here to balance them to make sure they all charge equally because they don't share, they don't play friendly like lead acid. Now, lead acid batteries. You know, if you're putting this, say, in a solar farm or whatever, you know, they might last a couple of years before you're going to have to clean them off. I just helped a friend do his solar farm. Uh, 
we took off the cables and, you know, put baking soda and stuff like that, cleaned them off, and then sprayed some stuff on there to hopefully keep them from contaminating too quickly. But, uh, yeah, and then we had to fill them with water. The water is down here. We had to fill them up so they're above the plates. Lithium batteries, there's none of that. They are sealed and all that. So here, let me pull it out of here. So, by the way, uh, as I said before, the reason they sent these out to me is because some of these companies, they're doing these big Black Friday uh, sales. And so there's some really good sales. I want to say just off the cuff, I'll put the price down. I think I want to say this is under 200 bucks uh, on the sale. So check it out. I think I get an affiliate link. So I, I'm pr yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's a discount uh, code that I'll give you down below. Uh, it might be Kiss Analog. Not sure. Anyway, check down below and use that. You get a discount. Okay. So Black Friday's coming. I think the sale's going to extend. You know, probably into Christmas. I guess I don't know for sure, but it's going to extend through November for sure. Grenner Power. All right, guys. Um, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, there's a couple handles. You know, I remember seeing that in the brochure now. I was just thinking like, God, some of the ones I've had had these uh, nylon straps that kind of hook into the side. But this looks like such a clean look to it. I thought, well, it's nice and clean looking, but where's the handles? They're right here. So there you go. Um, little silica pad there. So deep cycle batteries. So these are deep cycle. Okay. So that means, okay. Oh, I see. I thought they just gave me one set of uh, bolts here, but there's actually a set already in here. And they're, I'll, I'll bring the camera and take a close up, but they're nice and colored on each one. So even after you take off the cap, there's a plus sign, a minus sign, plus they're colored. So let's take a look at this thing. All right, not much to look at except for on this side. Yeah, you know what? This looks pretty darn nice. Okay. Yeah, there's not much to show you this except for we're going to do some testing on this after the holiday. I just got this, and so I just wanted to show what it actually looks like uh, in person. And, I mean, the construction quality, it's very solid. I don't, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it's just really solid here. Uh, there's no Boeing or anything like that, of course. It's lithium iron phosphate. You're not going to see that. Um, but, yeah, this guy, really solid-looking battery. They make different capacities, different voltages. And, man, I tell you what, with the price today, generally on these types of batteries, you can go four in series, four in parallel. So you can get a lot of energy out of a 12-volt battery system. What You know, four in series, you're going to be up at 48 volts, right? So... Uh, well, 48 plus, so. All right, there's a kind of a close-up look at this thing. You can see the coloring here, the minus sign, so that makes it all easy to read. And the handles, it kind of, there's a little thing that goes up in that groove that kind of hold them up, so it kind of squeezes in place. Um, and then they snap down, so they're totally flush. So, Nice clean look, no maintenance with the lithium ion batteries. So yeah, there you go. That's what they look like. And they did provide an extra set of hardware. That was very nice. Okay guys, they sent a service card. So I thought I'd send it out or show it to you so you can, you know, maybe save that, take a look at it and show you this side of it. This has a lot of the data you might be interested in, the capacities and so on. And there's a nice little picture. And here is the other side. They're just saying they want to share. The other side says share with us. Here's questions and answers. So I just want to show you that too. All right, guys. So just kind of wrap it up. Um, the life pole for batteries are very safe. And, and that's very valuable. They also have many more cycles than the lithium ion. Most batteries claim around 4,000 cycles, Okay. But I've read where you can, you know, they believe that it's going to be more like 5,000. And that's when you fully discharge the battery, okay? So if you're going to go 
to less like 80%, you can double that, at just 80%. So if you don't let it fully discharge, now lead acid, you can only discharge about half, right? But uh, half the capacity, but with these, if you go 80% down, you know, so you save 20%, then it's like you double the amount of cycles you can charge and discharge. Um, in a lot of use cases, you're not going to be fully charging and discharging, I don't think. So you're going to get so many uh, charges out of this. I think even 4,000, you know, they're expecting 10 years of use. The warranty is five years. So that's pretty darn amazing. So, you know, the use cases are if you have an RV, if you're a sailboat uh, or any kind of boating, you know, fishing, trolling, that kind of thing, where you need deep cycle batteries, you know, in a battery farm where you want to use solar energy. So these guys are really big into uh, making the planet greener, is what they say. And so I kind of wonder if this is supposed to be pronounced greener. So anyway, there you go. Um, I like the looks of it. We're going to test it. And from what I've heard, uh, other people have looked at these things they test out great so uh, I just wanted to let you know because if you were thinking about doing it this is a great time at the cells that are going to be going I think that they're actually on right now so the cells I believe are already going so yeah check them out and check out my link down below I'll look at my latest emails and see if I can find links and, and I'll put whatever link I can get okay so alright appreciate you guys watching and you know greener power really appreciate you sending me out this battery i can't wait to start testing it got a lot of ideas of things i want to do on a lot of projects so i'm really interested in doing a series of videos with uh, these batteries so uh all right guys thanks for watching uh happy holidays